I bought a uh, radiator filter. I didn't even know they existed. But um, I got this from the same source as the uh, Champion uh, radiator. I think the same company makes these. Um, but it's basically uh, metal, glass, and um, filter metal. It's pretty, pretty hefty. And I'm going to put it in line on the upper about right here as close to there as possible and that way I can cat capture all of the um, uh, rust stuff that's still in the engine since it's still uh, this engine has been sitting shoot over 15 20 years and uh, pretty nasty inside and I've already flushed it manually a few times and got the gunk out I showed you in the previous videos and I need to uh, I'm gonna flush it again but I didn't want to get the radiator all gunked up so I'll be flushing it with this guy and emptying it and flushing it uh, first with just distilled water then with uh, a radiator flush solution and then I'll put regular antifreeze in there and run it and then probably just keep on flushing it I don't know until it starts running you know probably run it for a few months and then flush it again but uh, that's the plan all right I installed the inline uh, radiator filter from champion radiators so this thing's uh, seems pretty beefy so I just put it right there and that way I'll be able to see and change the filter because this guy has I'm sure some more rust inside of it and uh, yeah seems to fit pretty good so I'm gonna put on the water pump pulley in the fan and uh, no shroud for right now um, pulley and fan are on and then um, just for testing, I went ahead and just looped the uh, transmission back to itself with this uh, hose because I still don't know how I'm going, what I'm going to do with the, uh, the lines there. Um, I need to get some fittings from Summit. And First run so far so good. It is uh, capturing some items in there and I just have distilled water in there right now. Alright so I've won one session of just distilled water. I'm going to drain it down a little bit and uh, clean out that filter and then add radiator flush to it and then repeat water is a little brown but not terrible terrible well that's coming out of the filter just removed the took it apart and wow So anyway, I'm going to remove the filter all the way and clean it out. For some reason, it's not wanting to come off that end. It's just kind of stuck on, but I'll, I'll persuade it. So far, so good. I mean, it's pretty dirty and getting a lot of gunk in there, uh, but no water leaks that I've found uh, that didn't wasn't solved by tightening one of these clamps or something. I did have one oil leak at the uh, cover for the manual uh, uh, fuel pump cover, so 
I'll need to make a new gasket for that so that it, it, it works a little bit better. Um, it does get pretty hot fast, but um, you know, I'm just going to keep on flushing it out and hopefully it uh, starts cooling a little better. Okay, so I took this uh, crushed on flushing cleaner and ran it in the system. And uh, it's pretty brown. It was foamy. I have some video of it. You probably saw. And now it's time to drain it out. So. It's going to be pretty brown. So the plan is to um, drain it out. as much as possible fill it back up with more distilled water and then run it again drain it until that's not that color and then transition over to 50-50 uh, Well, this is my third flush, and it's still coming out pretty rusty. So I'm going to keep on going. Yeah, it had a lot of rust in it. And this guy has been really doing its job. So I've been cleaning this out on every flush. And this is the third flush, and it's actually getting more now than it was on the first. So I think uh, it's starting to break, break free, whatever was in there. So I'll clean that out and put it back in and put distilled water back in there. It's only 80 cents a gallon, so it's not too bad. This is cleaned out and ready to go back on. Uh, to help it uh, remove, to remove it a little bit easier, I put a little coated uh, grease on there, just so it's easy to uh, remove from the uh, radiator hose because it likes to stick on there after going through a heat cycle. And once I put that on there, it uh, was real easy to remove, and it still holds its, um, it's, it still made a good connection. So, all right, next flush. Fourth flush. Still brown. Keep going. 